What made this, this competition so unique is just the, the caliber of the competitors. Um, you know, it drew people from all over the world and, and certainly in Australia, it was known as the Olympics of ballet. So it was the, it was the place to be and compete. It gave me confidence and it gave me experience to, to, to go forward and believe in myself. It was really eye-opening for me to see, you know, so many talented dancers from all over the world and to be coached during the week um, leading up to each part of the competition by such amazing uh, teachers from London and all over the world. It's always um, an honour and a very special thing for me to carry that medal um, and to have that in my CV. It's really a very recognised competition on an international level and I think it's a really wonderful opportunity and wonderful platform to be able to be exposed um, to the professional realm and get connections that will really la last for an entire lifetime. I overall enjoyed it probably the most out of any competition that I did. I had just a really positive experience. I felt like I sort of walked away from the competition a different dancer. I think my path really um, if you look back, it kind of starts starts from that very first time I did the competition in 2009. I think learning a solo in that short amount of time and having to get it ready for the stage is um, a skill that really helped me later on. You know, I danced the variation, um, Giselle's variation from Act One, and I remember thinking I'd love to do the whole ballet one day and. Fortunately, I have been able to do that in my career. When I did get to perform Giselle in the Australian Ballet, I did have a feeling of deja vu back to when I was 15 and working on that variation and many, many happy memories. Taking part of the competition made me gain a lot of courage and um, it really allowed me to push away my fears aside, you know, and be brave. Um, I remember the moment when it was just me alone in Stadler Wells and just seeing the, the, all the tears. I was just like, wow, this is insane. Like so many people came to watch and I had to be brave at that moment. And um, it really gave me so much courage to perform on another stage after that. When I was doing the competition the second time around, one of the judges was David Nixon. And he came up to me and he basically congratulated me. But I, what I remember was, was so special to me and still feel special now is the fact that he gave me his business card and told me to keep in touch. I kept that business card. It was in my wallet. I did my third year and I actually got in touch with David Nixon and I said, it's Melinda Kulashi and you judged me at the Jenner competition a year or two years ago and you told me to get in touch and I'm getting in touch. Can I audition for your company? And I got a job, I'm still there eight years later. I think for me personally, I was very fortunate to I won a medal. I was really, really grateful for that because it made me more confident to, to believe I had attained a particular level that they'd given me this medal. I was like, wow, okay. And so when I went to auditions for companies and things, that was already sort of in my back pocket, you know? So I tried out for a lot of companies in my last year of Royal Ballet School. And I got quite a few really good quality uh, companies offering me jobs. And I'm, I'm, I'm certain that my, you know, I was prepared for a lot of that by doing the journey. It was great to have that opportunity to test my, um, like inner strength and focus to see how that would go, because that's been something that I've had to draw on every single performance um, as a dancer since, um, having to, you know, quiet down the mind from a busy day and what, whatever's going on in the world and the theatre around you, just to really um, be able to focus in on what I need to do on stage. So my career highlights have been just working with Matthew Bourne and the New Adventures Company in general. But one show and role that's really, really special to me is Vicky Page in The Red Shoes, which was a creation which is always amazing to be a part of. And Matthew Bourne kind of, you know, created this role, you know, on me and, and the company. And it was just a really epic show that I feel so, so lucky to be a part of. Working with the choreographer Akram Khan, uh, who's worked with English National Ballet very closely, has definitely been one of the most special experiences of my life. Um, being part of the creation of Giselle was it really, uh, 
it's unforget unforgettable to work one on one with him. I got to perform a solo on point for the first time. That was actually one of my biggest highlights at the moment because it's not really like usual that you would see a man on point, especially within a a big company like Beja are actually using that. So yeah, that was really a highlight for me, and I'm so grateful for it. And I cannot wait for many more times where I can feel that again. <laughs> So I've only recently just became a professional dancer, so I graduated right before the pandemic in 2019. But I did have quite a good opportunity a few months ago to perform the principal role in a new piece by Kyle Abraham, which was a fantastic experience and I really enjoyed the whole process and it was so far probably my career highlight. I'm very grateful to have a very exciting, interesting career. When I was 19, I got offered a job in the Royal Ballet, which for me was just a dream come true. And out of a class of 16 dancers, there were only three of us who got offered a job in the Royal. And so, of course, I took it hands down. I was just like, wow. The next highlight came when Yuri Fateh from Marinsky offered me a job to go and work in Russia. Highlight for me is having met David Nixon and worked with someone who I feel understood me as an artist and really molded what I wanted to be as an artist and, and got it from the, I didn't have to explain anything to him, but he could see it, he got it, he see it in the studio. We didn't have to talk much, but he, could, he understood what I stood for as a dancer, as an artist, as a person. If you don't win the medal, it doesn't really matter. The fact is you're learning more than you can even, even understand. You'll look back on it in the years to come and say, oh, that's where I made my progress. In those moments, even when it's difficult, you can learn so much. And just, just try and grab hold of that experience and don't be disappointed if things don't work out. If they do, great, that's a bonus. That's great for you. But remember there's more to winning than just taking a medal home. You can, um, you can get so much experience and that will develop your career and give you a lot of a broader, a broader perspective in the future as well.